During the sprint review, the Scrum team shows working and tested software to the people and stakeholders that use the software. That will get their feedback flowing. It's the feedback that tends to make development go really fast, because it prevents rework and ensures that only effort is spent on the most valuable parts. Okay team, we had a two week sprint. Please surprise me with some great results. A common mistake is that the product owner acts as a customer or that the team treats the product owner as a customer. The product owner is part of the scrum team too. A good product owner visits the team often during the sprint and knows what has been done. Well, to make this new feature possible, I had to store this information inside the current context so that we can retrieve it, uh, retrieve it later on, uh, which is a great, great improvement uh, since last code has been developed. Uh, don't you think so too? Well, um, next part I want to uh, show you is uh, this piece. A common mistake is that sprint reviews become boring meetings. Instead, a review meeting should be a party. Stakeholders and customers are present, so show them the business value that has been created. Because how can showing business value become boring? Dear product owner, welcome to our demo. I've taken some screenshots and put it in a presentation so we can go through it really quickly. A common mistake is that a team has not finished the work and cannot demonstrate working and tested software. Even worse are teams that show PowerPoint slides. The only measure of progress is the amount of working and tested software. Show that! And uh, Frans, uh, have you typed it? Yeah, Kimi, it's a wrap. And what do you think about it? Well, you showed some uh, nice problems, man, but uh, how to do it better? Better? Well... Tip 1. Sprint reviews generate feedback. So, stakeholders and customers need to be present. Make it fun for them to attend. Oh, and by the way, many stakeholders have power. So don't forget to tell them about your impediments. They might be able to help you. Tip 2. The sprint review is crucial, as stakeholders are invited. You can't have failing software or non-structured review meetings. So prepare the meeting well and ensure that all user stories that are shown have been tried out before the meeting. Tip 3. The sprint review is the meeting of the product owner. So let the product owner open the meeting, showing the agenda, showing the burn up and the value delivered. Especially the value delivered by earlier sprints is important. Let the product owner answer the question what the return on investment is of the delivered software so far. Tip 4. The sprint review provides feedback on working and tested software. You show the product. However, let the stakeholders also take a look at the product backlog. Don't wait for their feedback till the software is done. Use feed forward by showing them the product backlog. Tip 5. A great way to collect feedback is by using the happiness metric. Put five categories on the wall from really happy to really sad. And let stakeholders write their feedback on a sticky note and hang it in the category that expresses their happiness best. Fast, feedback and very effective. This video blog is sponsored by ProWareness.